Hello bookworms! Today I'm going to be doing my June TBR video. These videos, like these end of month videos, are going to be a little bit out of whack because I'm going to Book Expo and Book Con and the end of May is the first day of the EA and I hate filming wrap-ups before the actual last day of the month because I like reading up until the last day of the month um, to make sure that I like cover everything. So I'm going to wait and film those when I get back from Book Expo, but for now I'm going to film my TBR because I know what books I want to read next month, so I can easily do that. So these are the things that I have on my list. First is A Conjuring of Light by Victoria Schwab, um, or by V.E. Schwab. This is the third and final book in the uh, Shades of London series. The first book being Darker Shade of Magic, the second one being A Gathering of Shadows, and I read and I enjoyed both of those and I really want to finish out the series. I've been meaning to and I was thinking about finishing it in May and then I was like I just can't like between like Akawar and Always and Forever Lara Jean I was like I don't think that I can handle like another series finale this month. I need to just like read a little standalone novel and then I can move on for um, for the next month. So I definitely want to read this in June. Next on my list is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, I actually took a Twitter poll to see what classic book I should read next because I don't know why but I just got really in the mood to read a classic book. So Pride and Prejudice was actually on my list of like bookish resolutions for the year so it worked out that this ended up winning the Twitter poll. Um, the other ones that were on there were Anne of Green Gables and um, The Secret Garden so if you don't follow me on Twitter you can. I'm at Super Space Chick and I have polls and stuff from time to time so um, you can vote next time if you missed it this time but I am definitely planning on reading this. I'm really excited that it got chosen and I cannot wait to finally read a Jane Austen novel. Next on my list is The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord. Um, I went to the book launch for this at Books of Wonder and I just love hearing Emery speak and um, also following her on Twitter. She is like an awesome person. So um, I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I had been really scared about it because it follows a girl um, whose mom has cancer and then she went into remission and then it comes back, um, which is obviously a very touchy subject for me. So I like wasn't sure if I was going to be able to handle it, but Emery actually made me feel a lot better about it um, at the launch and it sounds really fun because it sounds like it is a summer camp book. So I think it's like the perfect thing to read in June, like right when the summer season is kicking off. Then I have The Love Interest by Kale Dietrich. And this one I actually got really interested in reading after I watched uh, Jane from It's Jane Lindsay's review. It sounds so good. It follows two guys who are hired to become the love interest for this woman but the, they're like competing to be her love interest and then the two of them actually fall in love. But from what she said, it sounds like it covers so many different um, genres of YA and it like makes fun of the, tip, the like tropes that we typically see. Um, and it just sounds like she made it sound so good. So it got me really excited for it and I immediately ordered a copy after watching her video. So I'm really looking forward to getting to this one. And then the last thing that I have on my TBR for the month is the second volume of Fruits Basket, which is a manga series. Um, they're, they finally just came out with the last uh, collector's volume. These editions are so beautiful. I love them. Like, I love the spines. They just look so nice. So I got all of them. And now that the series is, like, finished coming out in these collector's editions, I feel like I can binge through just all of them and I cannot wait. So those are all of the books that I have on my TBR for June. Let me know what you're planning on reading or if you've read any of the books that I've mentioned and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye!